I'm a musician. Uh, uh, probably the the driving force in in uh, all of the things that I've done has been the fact that I'm a musician, and so. Uh, uh, because I love music itself and I love to make it, I love to share uh, the kind of feeling that I get uh, when I play something that touches someone else. Uh, one of the things that I do best is play ballads because they're pretty and they, they have uh, a kind of beauty that transcends uh, some of the rhythmic things that uh, I might play at, for the same audience. Uh, that's uh, uh, to, to play something and, and really uh, uh, get uh, a reaction and have people uh, feel that, uh, gee, that was nice, I like that, you know, it made me feel good. You know, that, that's, uh, I don't know, that, that, that's, I guess it's what music is about for me. What is your definition of leadership? A leader is someone who uh, not only uh, has uh, a firm belief in what he or she uh, does, uh, but sets uh, an example for other people to follow and says, uh, you know that you can do this because I did it before you. And uh, uh, even though I may not have done as well as you could do it if you attempt to do this. Uh, you have uh, an opportunity to uh, uh, make things better and by uh, emulating uh, what this leader has, has, has tried to put in front of you and, and, and the way he or she has guided your footsteps. What is the major public misperception of you? I don't know. I don't think I can answer that. I don't know. Uh, well, I guess that uh, one of the things that uh, has uh, been misread is the fact that uh, I, I am uh, I really have uh, enjoyed uh, my life. Uh, there are many things that I'd like to do again, I'd like to do over. Uh, the public seems to think that I'm always happy and I always, I've got a big smile and therefore, that's, uh, that's, that's who I am. Uh, that's a part of who I am, and probably a big part, but um, uh, that's far from uh, all of the things that I, I'm concerned with. I guess my uh, greatest achievement uh, so far has been, uh, I've been able to make people uh, a lot of people that probably more than would have uh, uh, understood it uh, uh, before, I've been able to make them uh, understand that jazz is America's classical music. This isn't a part of that question, well it is an extension of that question, but do you feel particularly proud of I wish I knew uh, what it felt like, or what it feels to be free, uh, uh, in I terms of... I wish I knew I'd, how it how would feel it, to be free. How yeah. it would feel to be free, in terms of, of... I mean, that became a major anthem of the Civil Rights Movement. I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that it's been used uh, so well. It's a short zone, it's only 16 bars, and, and it, uh, it uh, took me uh, uh, 15 minutes to write the song. Uh, and a year and a co-writer to finish it. And, and uh, uh, I'm very proud of it because uh, it seems to say better than I can say uh, uh, any other way uh, what that particular period that I lived through uh, was about. And uh, uh, just recently, uh, 
uh, it was on uh, uh, it was used on TV at uh, in the Medgar Ed, Ed Evans uh, 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 piece um, movie that was uh, uh, replayed and uh, just to hear it in the background and 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 realize that of the things that they were saying in the picture it seemed to work so so very well mm -hmm. um, it's one of my favorites it's well, definitely it's, one of my favorites. I wrote it for my do daughter many years ago and and uh, it's uh, I'm very proud of it yeah um, two more questions what is your strongest regret one of the one of my strongest regrets uh, and there are many, but there's one I, I wish I had talked. I, I went on a seven week tour in the mid, mid East, and my wife was supposed to go, go with me. Uh, she opted not to do it uh, because uh, it required uh, many things that she thought she would be uncomfortable doing. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't insist on it because. She would have loved it, and it would have been something that uh, I think that she would have, uh, knowing her intense love for music, beauty, and some of the things that, that I saw and experienced uh, during that uh, period, uh, it, I'm, I'm sorry I'll never be able to take her uh, to, to those places. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've taken to a few places, but my, fa my, my son uh, took her to the uh, 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 place that she uh, uh, loves the, the best, uh, he took her to the South Sea Islands, and and they have had a beautiful uh, uh, time, the two of them together. And I, I'm sorry, I never shared anything like that uh, uh, with him. Yeah. Um, what advice would you want to give to young African Americans? When I was a student, uh, one of the things that I was told at uh, Dunbar High School and at some of the other you know, all-black schools that I went to was that uh, we had to be, uh, we as uh, black students, had to be twice as good uh, as uh, people who are white to get uh, half as much. Uh, I'd like to pass that on. You have to be twice as good to get half as much now. <laughs>